this is just amazing. I could spend I could spend a week here shooting this. Welcome everybody and today this video is going to be a little bit different I think. Today I'm going to be photographing the urban kitty wakes here in Scarborough. Wow, uh, I'm a bit overwhelmed by this actually. Uh, there's just so many on this bridge and there's so much activity and one just came in with nesting material. There's loads uh, come in with nesting material, one just dropped some. I've seen two fights between kitty wakes already and it's so noisy. Uh, it's gonna be really difficult to try and pick out pictures, but that's my job. I've known about this for a while, I've never come, and it looks like a fantastic photo opportunity. So the idea today, and what I really want to do, is to try and get those really urban pictures, because that's kind of what this is all about. And it's not just about the photographs and the birds, it's about their relationship here in this urban environment. And I love that stuff, I love photographing that, I find it really interesting, uh, really exciting for me to try and photograph that relationship. So what I'm after is pictures of the kitty wakes in that environment. Okay, first thing you've got to do is calm down because there's just so much going on and you just your mind gets a little bit overwhelmed and it does for me after 20 odd years of photographing wildlife. This is my advice and the advice I have to give myself is at first is to keep it simple. That's what I do if you're in this kind of situation where you can get a bit overwhelmed. Go for the simple shots first, in my opinion. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. So the closest point here um, I'm just going to take a very simple shot. There is kind of two or three layers, uh, three different ledges with kitty wakes on and there's a number of nests on all of them. So I'm just going to do a shot here. Uh, I've got 100 millimeter. It is a macro lens, uh, but it, it works fine as a 100 millimeter like short telephoto. Uh, I framed it up first, just trying to get like those three layers of kitty wakes. And then there's a tree here on the right hand side. And I just thought if I just add a little bit of foliage from that, uh, it's just going to improve the image slightly, so I did that, just to add a little bit of colour, and I think it works pretty well. What I've done now is turn the camera around. If you've been watching my, any of my landscape, the few people that watch those, or macro videos, uh, you'll know that I didn't have one of these brackets, the L bracket, and a lot of people said, you know, why haven't you got one, get an L bracket. Well, I finally got an L bracket, as you can see. So now the camera, I've turned it vertically because I think this is, uh, this lends itself better to a vertical. This is more of a vertical composition for me. This is just amazing. I could spend, I could spend a week here shooting this. I could spend a whole day just photographing on this bridge easily. This is just fantastic. So exposure wise, uh, what I've got is 80th of a second, F11, ISO 400. I'd like to try and keep the ISO lower if I can. I'm not shooting anything super fast at the moment um, and I want a smaller aperture. I don't want to just go with a wide aperture here. Um, I want to close down the aperture, so I've gone for F11, just to increase the quality, try and get really good quality and just get as much sharpness throughout that whole image. Okay, very happy with that, simple shot. I'm gonna move on now, and what I'm looking at now is, is over here, uh, is a couple of pillars, again, with lots of nests on them, and I think there's a composition there that's just a little bit more creative. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer to look at that one. This is what I'm looking at now. So we've got the two pillars with all the kitty weight nests on and we've got a nice bit of architecture from the curve in the bridge and I've got a composition that I'm happy with. The difference with this shot is I think it's going to help lift it a little bit to have uh, some flying kitty wakes in there. So if you look here, see like this area is really dark 
Now I think to lift the picture a bit, it'd be really nice to get a kittiwake flying here, white bird against that dark background. I think it's gonna work really, really well. But in order to do that, I've had to make some changes because I need a faster shut speed. 80th of a second, I don't think it's gonna be fast enough even at this distance. Uh, so I've adjusted my exposure, which is, so I'm still on F11. Uh, I'm at 1 250th of a second uh, and to do that I've had to push the ISO up to 800. Now I think 250th of a second is going to be sharp enough uh, to stop any flying birds at that distance. That's gone really well, I'm really happy so far. What I'm going to do now is to try to resist the temptation to put on a long lens and do some close-ups of the kitty wakes, which I would really enjoy, but I've kind of come here with these images in, in mind of the wider shots showing the surroundings. So I'm going to head for the Grand Hotel, which is probably not so grand now because it's covered in kitty wake poop. Um, I'm going to go over there. This is amazing. Can you see the kittiwake nest? Well, there's more than one, uh, but there's one particularly. Uh, this one here, and I've got the camera set up. I've actually seen pictures of this exact spot, this exact window with kittiwakes on. No idea where, where it was, and I've just come across it literally by chance, which doesn't happen very often. It's kind of at the top of these steps uh, as you go down, looking out towards the sea, and this is just perfect. This is one of the things I was after today. Uh, to get that amazing urban environment. It's just a simple composition I'm going to go for. Vertical composition, there's not much to it. I've got two kitty wakes nesting there, absolutely perfect. Um, and just that sort of old rustic look to it. And also the wall, it's got those like streaks of white in it. Maybe it is from the kitty wakes, but that's really adding like a texture to it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It is a really simple shot, but what I've had to pay attention to is the positioning. That's the most important thing. So I want to try and get like the square on as I possibly can to take the shot because we've got, it's a rectangle basically. We've got straight lines, right angles. So I've tried to get the tripod as far over to the left, to this uh, barrier as I can. And I've tried to get it really high up as well. So just to get the same level, just keep everything as straight as I possibly can. I've got the camera on live view. This is my composition, very straightforward. I'm actually focusing with live view as well. So you see the little square there is on one of the kitty wakes and I'm zooming in, focusing on there just to get more critical focus because I can and I've got time. Uh, shooting at it's F11, uh, I can't see, what is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, F11, 100th of a second and ISO 400. Yes, I brought two coats for a reason. I didn't notice, I'm actually getting quite cold. I've just got a t-shirt on under this jacket and my hands are actually freezing, getting a bit numb almost. So I think it's a good idea to, a uh, good time to have a cup of tea and uh, maybe we'll get some fish and chips.
I reckon I could spend weeks here just photographing the kitty wakes. There's just there's so many different aspects of it, uh, from close-ups to group shots, flight shots. There's so much behaviour, and then obviously including the environment, that urban environment in there as well. So you could do so much here. It's a fantastic thing for a project. Um, I was happy today. I kind of came with a plan. I didn't want to be too rigid, but I did, did have ideas in my head about the kind of images I wanted, and I definitely achieved some of them. You know, fairly simple, but I'm really happy with those. No complaints. If you like this video, then uh, click the subscribe button for more videos. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.